Good morning! <laughs> Welcome to my channel, TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I'm having a little bit of fun with you guys today. I put on my cell phone some bird noises. Okay? <laughs> because it's winter time, get it? We don't have any of this right now. It's stillness in the morning, or wind. But for this reading, we're going to enjoy a little bit of nature sounds. My, this is my daily vibe for January 6, 2019, and I already drew the cards, guys, because this is going to be a quickie. On your mark, get set, go. Daily vibe, crowning jewel. This is top of the morning to you. Top of the morning. What are we going to be under? What energy will we be under for the day? Huh. The night of Fire, passion, adventure, self-assured, restless, a sudden event that needs immediate attention, time is of the essence, think things through carefully, wow, 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 okay, so, night of fire, night of wands, Ooh, okay, um, Something big, guys. There's going to be some fun, fun stuff coming. Today is a really, really high energy day. Fire, passion, adventure. I'm hearing confidence. That's what I'm hearing. Today's going to be a day full of confidence. You're going to be very confident today. And if you're not, you need to be. Because this is the energy that's available to you. So be confident. Have self-confidence. Okay? So what's it going to look like in the morning? We're doing morning. Afternoon and evening. Okay? What's going on in the morning? Seven of Pentacles. Assessment. Intro and... Oh. I'm sorry. I just got a message. For some of you, you're paying bills. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's Sunday. That doesn't make sense. Okay, but maybe maybe you're literally like putting putting checks in envelopes and putting stamps on them for Monday morning. I don't know why, but I just got that in my head that this is literally going about your morning business. Okay, birds, don't be so loud. All right, that's a little better. I like my birds peaceful. So, yeah, I for some of you, I feel like you're going to be paying your bills. You're going to be getting things ready to go out in the mail for the next day. But the literal meaning of this card is, you know, not being satisfied with your finances or slow growth or maybe fast growth. Depends on where your mind is at when you look at that bush. Are you looking at cup half full or cup half empty? You know, some of the gardeners will look at it and be very, very pleased with what they've grown. Other gardeners will look at it and think, oh my God, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flowers on my bush. Just seven. <laughs> so, don't come at it from that way. But this is, uh, you, the morning energy is time to look at your creations, your investments. What are you doing? Vision, perseverance. Time to look at your creations. When I see the seven pe of pentacles, I think, hmm. Especially morning energy. My seven of pentacles is feed the kids, get them on the bus, feed the birds, water the birds because I have birds, feed the dogs, let the dogs out, feed the cat, water the cat. Yeah, that's what it feels like, seven of pentacles. You're looking at your morning to-do list. You know, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this. 
and and it's going to be there's going to be finances in there too like you're paying your bills or maybe you're you're making your grocery list but money is in there okay that's what i'm feeling for the morning energy yep and because these two I mean, we're telling a story morning energy inspection inspection look at look at your list what do you got to do and this one says oh i don't want to do it <laughs> i'll do it tomorrow depressed disillusion meditative state you were just feeling lazy like look this is your worry that i've got to do this 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 and this and this one is like no i just want to sit by this tree and play with my cups instead of filling them today thank you so morning doesn't feel real motivated. Some of you are very motivated. You're up and moving and you're already assessing, making plans and ticking off your list. Some of you are procrastinating and sitting on Facebook or YouTube or whatever your distraction of choice is. All right, those are the energies for the morning. Let's see what's the afternoon bringing. Ooh, money stability this is the mama i mean not the emotional mama that's queen of cups <laughs> that's me but the mama you know the one who takes you to soccer and you know uh, ties your shoes and packs your lunch and takes care of it's nurturing it's nurturing in the physical plane talented creative charitable inner security Confidence, guys. Conf self-confidence. This is self-confidence. Queen of Pentacles is the epitome of self-confidence. So you're just a little tired in the morning. You're just getting motivated. You know, I, I'm just going to be straight up honest. I don't know why I did my spread this way because this is not the way I was supposed to do it. It really wasn't. It's supposed to be three, three, and three. And I did two. And it feels like polarity to me. Like I'm channeling two different groups. This group here is up and drinking their coffee and making their lists and doing their chores and getting their morning duties together. And they're feeling confident and and attractive and and ready to face and meet their day. But this row over here feels like I'm bored. I'm distracted. I have things on my mind and I can't seem to get up and get motivated like this side did. And then you've got the six of wands in reverse. Or the three, I'm sorry, three of wands in reverse. And that, that's basically a waste of talent. Or take a new direction. Or just not making any plans. I mean, the three of wands in, in the upright position is usually a man looking out over a, a ledge at his ships coming in. Because he's making plans. He's expectant. He's done the work. This person over here has got the three of wands in reverse. Which means, I didn't make any plans for today. Today I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to lay in my bed. That's what I'm hearing, sorry. I told you I channel music when I'm channeling spirit sometimes. That's how I get my message. Alright? <clears throat> and I've got a sore throat, so nothing's going to sound good. But if that's the way it's channeled, that's the way I'm doing it. Hey, we lost our birds. What happened? Okay, and on this side, we've got the strength card in reverse. So in the evening, this is kind of funny because, you know, type A personalities, type B personalities. Literally, I took psychology, so it's kind of funny, the polarity here. But, you know, in the morning, they're all co confident, self-confident, and, and ready to meet their day and take it on head on, you know, with the 
with assuredness. But they burn out fast, don't they? Like I've got, for, I am not a type A personality, guys. I got to tell you, I wing everything. Everything. I don't make lists. I'm not a list maker. I'm not. And if I made it, it'd be a waste of my energy because I'd never stick to it. Never. It's just not in my bones. But there are people who are bright early morning people that love to hear the birds and they're ready to meet their day and they bright eyed and bushy tailed and they have self confidence and, and an arrogance of of passion for the day. But they burn out quick. It's like boom, I gave all my energy to this. And by the evening, when the evening rolls around, my strength is gone. Because I'm exhausted. Some of these people put in 10, 12, 14, 16 hour days. Because it's in their nature. They have a type A personality. They're overachievers. But they burn out quick and they grow old fast. Okay? This pile B, let's see how their energy flows in the evening. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I made this card. This is Gabriel's horns. Okay, this is this comes with the deck and it's just like a forward. Like, you know, it's just part of the deck, but it's not part of the deck. And I turned it into I took a class with my friend Tim Brainerd. A divination class with the Connolly deck and I wrote things on it. I didn't want to waste the card, and he didn't like wasting the cards, so we all put meanings on our cards. I named it Gabriel's Horns, Angel's Divine Intervention. <laughs> and it showed up as the evening for this type B personality. So I'm going to tell you right now, this might be my energy tomorrow. Maybe it's yours too. But I end up sometimes, especially because I'm healing, I'm not at work right now. But for me, I fall down rabbit holes all damn day long. I watch YouTube videos. I do tarot. I, I'm in my head doing spirituality stuff. So Gabriel's horns is like a wake-up call. It's an intervention, divine intervention. It's like, shut down, shut down, come on back into the body, ground yourself to the now. Because this person's been sitting around in their head all day long. And at the end of the day, the angels have to come along and say, It's time to go now. It's time to go. Okay? It was nice visiting with you. Thanks for being here. But you have a body to get back to. Could you please just go home? We'll talk to you tomorrow. And that's going to resonate with a lot of you because it showed up. And it didn't have to. It could have been a normal tarot card. So I'm going to take it the way I read it. If it resonates, it's yours. And if it don't, throw it out the door. All right. At the end of the day, this was the beginning of the day. It was all passion, adventure, self-confidence. What's the end of the night look like right before bed? This is the energy for today, guys. Just for a day. Have an attitude of gratitude. That's right. We close out our prayers with attitude of gratitude. We close out our day with attitude of gratitude. We close out our reading with attitude of gratitude. I am so grateful you are here. So grateful. Okay? Hope you'll be here tomorrow too. Namaste. And remember, I love you.